this Claude V2 from Anthropic is one step ahead of GPT-4. I never thought I would say this in a in in the near future, but today we have reached a stage where Claude V2 from Anthropic with 100k, 100,000 context window and almost like four to five times cheaper price than GPT-4 is available for everybody to use. This is great news. I mean, when I say everybody, of course, US, UK, uh, but this is great news where you can go to this interface and then try out Claude by yourself. So in this video, we wanted to explore how does Claude look or at least Claude V2 look like. And as you can see from the demo, it still doesn't tell us that it is Claude V2. But to be honest, Claude V2 or the web interface, ChatGPT like web interface is really impressive. And as the as you can see the chat and you can rename it, you can go have multiple chats. So the chat history is stored very similar like ChatGPT's user functionality. But again, one of the things that it tries to say is that it wants to be sincere, nuanced, have trustworthy dialogues and also to be harmless and honest. And when I asked it to give me examples of how it tries to align with human values, it listed out a bunch of things that it tries to do to make sure that it aligns with human values. And I think this is in line with what everybody is trying to do with AI, which is have an AI that is aligned with human values, but also at the same time have the AI be useful and more purposeful. This has been the biggest complaint about GPT-4 where a lot of people have been saying that OpenAI has low bottom eyes. I, I, I don't prefer using that word, but that is what the word that you would see a lot around Reddit, that OpenAI has low bottom GPT-4 by trying to make it more harmless and useful. But in case of Claude, doesn't seem to be the case. I was curious to know if this aligning with humans are part of the training process or a part of the system context, because we have seen a lot of apps with system prompt setting that tells the AI to be uh, kind and, uh, you know, let's say helpful to the human being. But this response actually tells me that it's a uh, part of something called constitutional AI. And that is happening at the training si side, not necessarily a prompt thing. I don't, I don't necessarily trust this response, but it's completely possible that it is not a prompt thing, but it's more around a training thing. It's a compliment uh, for the cloud system. I really, really, really enjoyed chatting with this which is like not, not a helpful conversation, but still I enjoyed it. So one of the things that Claude can do is you can upload a PDF given that it has 100K context window. You can upload a PDF and ask it to do questions. This is going to kill all the chat with the PDF applications. It's quite funny. At the same time, when code interpreter is available, Claude has made it available. You can upload a PDF up to five megabytes and ask any questions, like ask it to summarize ask it to give you bullet points, ask questions around it. In my case, for the Python PDF that I uploaded, it did a terrific job, but let's look at another PDF. Let's go find Apple's uh, latest release or earning statement. It's not a very structured PDF, but it has got a lot of tables and numbers. What if we can upload this to Claude and ask Claude to summarize this? I mean, this is something that I think every person's dream. And as you can see, you can either start a new chat with Claude or you can restart the old chat. And one of the things that I wanted to try is the default option where you can upload a PDF and then ask it to answer. They've got a default PDF document and it very clearly gives you a prompt. Summarize this PDF document in a bullet point outline. Make a markdown table of the study questions and answers. It's quite magical to see what it can do. Now coming to our own PDF, it takes a bit of time to upload our PDF because it's, it's a consolidated statement, a financial earning statement. And I'm just saying, Give me a summary of this document and uh, it's a 3 MB file. It took the document and it gave me really, really bulleted summary. I don't need financial news anymore because I don't want to trust anybody who has vested interest. I can just upload any PDF document like this and ask Claude to summarize it for me. And imagine like you have got 100K tokens. That means you can upload even larger documents and it gives really, really good instructions like breaking down broken down instructions, which um, a normal, not a financial expert like me can understand. And you can also ask follow up questions. Like I can go ahead and then ask, is this a company worth investing? And of course, like as an AI, it will tell me that, you know, it cannot give me all those details, but it also gives me like the positive aspects and the negative aspects of the stock just from one financial statement. And it's not just one PDF that you can upload at the time. It, you can upload multiple PDFs. 
I was also curious to push Claude to the limits. I mean, like to become probably viral on internet by making, asking some stupid questions and making it do things that people usually don't see. So I asked it to make chart and it was quite confident that it can make chart, but uh, ultimately it turns out that Claude cannot make chart uh, or at least it cannot show charts in line with uh, this instruction window that you have got. So it cannot make chart. And when I said the image doesn't seem to be valid, it uh, actually apologized like every other AI system at this point. And then gave me a bar chart in text, like instead of having a bar chart drawn, it gave me a bar chart and a pie chart in text. That was quite funny to see. Uh, again, it's useful. Like you can make a bar chart with that and you can make a pie chart. When again followed up with a question that you said you know to make chart, but you didn't make chart, it again apologized and it said, I should have clarified the typical AI, you know, apologetic stuff. And uh, when I also wanted to know one of the key things that I like in code interpreter is you can make everything and then you can also get a PDF report of everything. I wanted to see if Claude can do that. It doesn't seem like Claude can do it at this point that it cannot convert the existing report into a PDF, which I could have already downloaded with a bunch of charts. I, th I think I, I absolutely love code interpreter for this particular feature alone. You can upload a PDF, get a PDF as an output with a report, but at least in this case, Claude cannot do it. I also wanted to see if Claude can execute Python code in line, which is very similar like what code interpreter can do because Claude is quite good with coding. So it can take a code, it can read a code, it can output a code, but it cannot execute code. There is no like coding engine inside, or maybe there is a coding engine that they have deliberately switched off um, and and uh, as, as you can see, uh, it, uh, it has done a really good job in explaining what it can do, what it cannot do. I also found it to be very verbose, very similar like chat GPT, but uh, I don't know, everybody wants to make AI quite verbose uh, to piss off human beings, that's, that's the thing. I wanted to see the multilingual capabilities. I said, I want to talk to you in Tamil, which is the language that I speak. Very surprisingly, it said it cannot speak in Tamil, but it actually said that in Tamil. And it also said that I can speak only in English and please continue the conversation in English. And it said that in Tamil. Now I don't know whether Claude doesn't know Tamil or it is trying to just not talk in Tamil. But when I asked it to say that I'm a really good YouTuber in Tamil, like I'm literally asking it to translate, it once again does the job very well. It says, Ningal Mikhaum said on the YouTuber in Tamil Solamudia. It actually says, I cannot tell you that you are a good YouTuber in Tamil. But it said the entire thing in Tamil, like it was quite weird for me to understand this, like what is going on because Claude's technical documentation talks about multilingual capability and Tamil is one of the language there. But when I'm explicitly asking it to do things for me, it says that it cannot do it. I also wanted to check if can, if it can access internet and uh, as usual with every other answer, it says it cannot access internet, but I do not know what is happening under the hood here. A lot of things Claude denies, but it, I, I almost feel like Claude has the capability to do it. Maybe they have like decided to put a boundary that it cannot do it. Finally, pushing the multilingual capability, I wanted to check if it can write a poem for me, which is something that it outright denied and it did not write a poem in this case, but it again replied to me in Tamil, which is quite weird because I'm just asking it to write a Tamil poem and it didn't. One of the useful functionalities, at least I felt with Claude is I can ask Claude to summarize the entire conversation, like everything that I started from and everything until now. And it did a really good job at summarizing like five point bullet point summary of our conversation, Apple financial statements that it clarified that it cannot make statement uh, PDF. It cannot write code. It cannot speak Tamil. It cannot write Tamil poem. And honestly, I was quite impressive. Like if I'm a student, I'm trying to learn something. I can literally upload 10 PDF, have a chat and after one hour I can ask for five point bullet summary of the entire conversation and uh, that can do a really good job. One thing I found honestly weird is that they can do PDFs, but they're not letting us upload images. I don't know. I don't understand the logic of this. You cannot upload a PNG or a JPEG file. And in fact, Lord, as usual says that it cannot handle and I, I appreciate your understanding. I don't understand. Like even for PDF, it says you cannot upload PDF. It's again a weird thing. PDF is right there. I can upload. It says I cannot upload a PDF. But honestly, like I don't understand why Anthropic is not letting us upload a PDF. But I think it has got good computer vision skills, which Anthropic is not letting us handle. But overall, 
the bottom line is it's super impressive what they have done with cloud 2 100k context window cheaper price api access playground i i i feel like anthropic with the recent round of funding like really decided to crush open ai as a competition and the direction in which they are going is they know for sure that people are going to use chat gpt through the web application chat gpt so for consumers they are going to have this playground and for professionals developers enterprises they're going to have this api access seems like a right direction and i love competition in ai we don't want to see another monopoly in tech so it seems a really good thing to see that cloud v2 is a step ahead i would honestly say that it is a step ahead of gpt4 but i would still do some deeper um, exploration to understand where does it stand we don't have any industry benchmark to actually compare but i honestly feel that cloud v2 is cheaper than gpt4 but also a step ahead of gpt4 let me know in the comments what do you think about it but otherwise see you in another video happy prompting